Hi guys, Ian from the Foot Boots team and today I'm looking at the Nike Phantom Vision. Yes, the brand new boots from Nike, but I'm going to be looking at how we can make them just that little bit better. I've got some tips, some tricks, some hacks to improve the Nike Phantom Vision. But before I can improve the boot, I need to tell you how good they are to start off with. So we're going to do just that. I'm going to get into how good the Phantom Vision is. So you guys might be wondering, do the Phantom Vision have laces? And the answer is yes, but they're not on the outside like a normal boot. They are in the inside. You've got the ghost laces and they fit into this booty inside and you use those to adjust your fit and you tighten it up inside through here. And they're not as um, laced as a normal shoe. They're only a few crosses over rather than lots that you get on a normal lace boot. So you want to know, are these comfortable? And I can tell you, yes, they absolutely are. So I've had the opportunity to wear this black pair in some trainings, in some matches. And the very first match I played in them, I wore them for 90 minutes straight. No blisters. And I only had a little bit of pressure on the outside of the boot that I was kind of feeling near to the end of the game. But I'd planned on changing them at half time because I knew that they were going to be a problem. But no, with that quad mesh booty, it's real nice fit. Really nice indeed. Managed to wear them for 90 minutes. No problems, no blisters. Straight out of the box, yes. So some of you are probably wondering, is there a low cut version of the Phantom Vision available? Well, you can see my test pair that I've been wearing here. And here is another pair in that launch raised on concrete colorway. But no, there is no version available without the collar that comes on all of them. Alex Awobi at Arsenal, he was seen in training with a pair that looked like they were um, without a collar, but we think he probably just tucked it down. Stay tuned to this video, into the hack section. I've got some ideas on how we can improve this boot. So size and wise, are these gonna fit you? If you've got wide feet, you might find it a bit of a tight fit. Normal feet, you're just gonna probably wanna go true to size, maybe a half a size down for a snug fit with this booty. Depends on how you like your boots to feel, if you like that extra bit of toe space or not. I don't like having too much toe space, and I reckon I could probably go down half a size in these just to make it a bit tighter. Wide-footed players with that booty, it is gonna have a bit more of a tighter fit than perhaps you got with like the Obras. So just consider that, and these might not be the best boot for you if you've got wide feet, but most people should find them a really nice fit, and they're gonna feel great straight out of the box. So some of you are wondering, how are these new boots different from the Obras that Kevin De Bruyne used to wear? Well, a couple of things. One, this upper is much grippier. That's what this boot's all about, is that super grippy upper, really great for passing and all those kind of control things. The laces obviously are hidden. You can see that difference. And there's less laces through here than on the other ones. Other thing is this sole plate is a little bit more aggressive, a bit more faster, a bit thinner than you've got on the Obra and a slightly different last that suits wider um, feet on the Obra slightly more than on these. So some of you are wondering, are are these new Phantom Vision just a copy of the Adidas Glitch or the Adidas X18? Obviously the X18 is laceless, so is the Glitch, but these are quite different boots. In fact, the most inspiration I could say that this Nike Bearer boots has got is from the Vapor 4s that had the lace cover. Very different things going on. No laces here at all, so no way of customizing your fit. These two separate areas, so there's a bit of difference and gap between the two products. This one, you've got your mesh booty inside, so you can get that lockdown just right and the fit just right with these. My favorite out of the three, probably the Phantom Vision. So you might be interested to know whether these are available in kids versions or cheaper versions and the answer is yes and yes so in the kids version you can get the elite it is very similar to the adult version just a very few minor little changes but it is a very good quality boot also available in academy versions in kids in the adults you can get the elite version you can get pro versions you can get academies and you can get clubs the clubs are the only ones with the exposed laces that run across the top you can see in the picture otherwise you're getting that ghost laces with all the other versions and it just depends on the quality of the upper and the differences in the sole plate as you go down those price points as you can see in the images so you're wondering can you wear these phantom visions on like turf firm ground pitches soft ground pitches and the answer is yes but it depends on the boots if you get these fg ones then i'd only recommend them wearing them kind of once or twice on like ag pitches if you really need to but you don't want to have to buy a brand new boot play regularly on ag or turf make sure you get the ag version with the conical studs it's going to make a difference the way you play and the boots are going to last that bit longer and you're going to be protected by the nike warranty on those as well as you can see i've been wearing these ones my test pair on just kind of very kind of lightly muddy pitches if you're going to play on something a lot wetter a lot muddier in an english winter that kind of stuff sunday league pitches you want to really think about getting the anti-clog version in the elites they are really good for those conditions you can see all the different sole plates available on the screen now so now you know that I've been wearing them in my matches, but what other big name players have been wearing the Phantom Vision or do wear them? Well, obviously you've got Kevin De Bruyne, our big poster boy for the boots. Coutinho, he's come over from the Vapors. In fact, a lot of players have switched boots and are giving the Phantom Vision a go. Really good stuff from Nike. They've got goalkeepers, they've got midfielders, they've got forwards, there might even be a few defenders flying around in there as well. 
Um, you've got Ericsson at Tottenham, he's another player who's wearing them. And you've also got Sergio Busquets who's been wearing them as well. So do they suit you? Well, that depends on what type of player you are. As you can see, the Nike have got their Ranger boots. They've got these which have replaced the Magistas. You've got your Hyper Venoms, shooting boots, but maybe they're going out of favor a little bit. You've got your Superfly, all about speed, and then you've got your leather as well. So it depends on what type of player you are, but I'd say that this is actually a really universal boot. If you're a striker, you can enjoy this nice large striking region. If you're a midfielder, you've got great passing areas. Defender, potentially, maybe not for you. Maybe you've got not the option you might go for. If you're thinking about Nike boots, then I definitely consider the Phantom Vision. It's one of the best boots that they've got in their entire range now. All right, so Blake has challenged me to describe these boots in three emojis. And the very first one is easy. It is that red triangle emoji. Clearly, that's got to go on there. Now, what else are we going to do? Well, I'm thinking these are all about precision and control. So you've got that arrow, okay, that dart, that arrow on the target board. That's what these are all about. That's going to be on there. And then the other consideration is maybe we go with 100. Are these 100 out of 100 boots? Possibly, I'll let you know later on in the video. But one I'm going to go for as well is the Ghost. Obviously, they've got the Ghost laces, huge feature of these boots. The only boots with Ghost laces. So, as I said, this boot is nearly 100 out of 100. But how can you improve on the Phantom Vision. Well, I've got five hacks to show you today. And the first one is in this box. I'm gonna go back to the studio, open it up, have a look inside, and I can tell you it is the white gold version, the limited edition. How can you improve a boot? By getting a limited edition one. 1,000 pairs of these made, beautiful. The white upper paired with that big gold triangle on it, it looks, what a boot. Now, if you can't get yourself a limited edition like this, then maybe you can get one of the upcoming limited editions because we believe there could be another two coming before Christmas. So look out for those. Now, the other option is to head over to Nike ID. There's a link here on our website. We show you all the different versions you can get. And if you want to customize your own pair, you can. You can make a white pair. You can make a red pair. You can make a black pair. You can change the color of the triangle. You can, can change the color of the stripes. You can make all sorts of adjustments to the boots. So guys, you've seen the designs on the screen that Blake has made. There's five different ones. I want you to tell me which your favorite is in the poll card now. So there is the red ones, the blue ones, the black ones, the white ones, or the gray and bolt ones. Vote in the poll card now. Let me know your favorite. I think my favorite might have to be the black gold ones. All right, I've got another hack inside this boot right now. Now, you might have to go to your local shoe store, shoe repair place, but you need one of these. It is a shoehorn. They come with the Predators, but you really need them for putting on the Phantom Vision. It would be a much better boot if it was just that bit easier to get on your feet. Even with a half size too big, I can sometimes struggle to get my foot in there with true socks, but using the shoehorn, you can get into your shoe a lot easier. And I'll tell you right now, you will use this on your boots all through the future. Invest in this, it's not gonna cost you very much. Look on Amazon, somewhere like that if you need to. Get yourself a shoehorn, you're gonna change the way you put on your boots. All right, my next hack is all about sock liners. So these come with the Phantom Nike Grip insoles, but I've got some old ones that I had from some Magistas, and these are the perforated ones, so you're losing a little bit of weight. It all depends whether you want a comfort sock liner or whether you want a speed sock liner, reduce a bit of weight in your shoe. I can really feel the difference between these two, and that's my hack, just switch it out. Use a different sock liner to reduce the weight, whether you've got your own from some old boots or what you do to get one, definitely go for it. This is a big difference in my eyes. All right, so, Probably the most controversial hack, scissors. Let's cut the collar down. There is a little bit of a stitch line between the booty and the collar. And I'm thinking we could cut all the way along here, all the way around, and still leaving enough that you can pull the booty up. That's my hack, cutting it. If you're too scared to cut it, then at least give it a go, folding it down and wearing it folded in. You're gonna get a little bit more of a snugger fit around the ankle and you'll get an idea of whether you wanna have it cut down or not before you go to the extreme levels of actually cutting it. So this hack is all about increasing your lockdown. So you've got the two layers, you've got the inner and the outer with this mesh and then the booty un underneath. And by putting the laces in, I'm thinking that we can increase the lockdown between these two separate layers. So you're gonna bring them right next to each other and then you just lace these through the lacing system I'm going to put this in through here and you can see a speed up of me doing that right now. Right guys, so now I need to know what you think. What do you think of my five tips, tricks, and hacks? Obviously you can change the color, you can go limited edition, use Nike ID, that's one. Vote in the poll card now, let me know your favorite. Another option is adding those laces, increase that lockdown. 
or you can look at putting the sock liner inside, reduce the weight of the boot a little bit. The other option is that shoehorn. Is that just that little bit extra making them easier to put on? I think so. And the other thing to consider is dropping that collar, making it the lower version, yeah? Maybe getting the scissors out and trimming it or at least tucking it in. Does it look better like that? I think so too. Anyway, which is your favorite out of those five? Vote in the poll card now, let me know. And the other question is, is the Phantom Vision the best Nike boot on the market right now? Is it the very best one available? Is it as good as it could be? We're gonna answer that question in an upcoming video. We're gonna put the Phantom Visions against the Superflies and we're gonna tell you which is the best. I'd love to know now what you think in the comments. Let me know. But guys, that wraps up this video looking at the Phantom Vision. What a boot. I've got a few little enhancements. Let me know what you think. All right, guys, go enjoy your football.